S&P triggers a buy signal. What's going to happen next? That's coming up on three minutes on Markets and Money. Big rally on Friday finally triggers that buy signal on the S&P 500. What does that mean? Well, we've been talking about this for the last few days, so suggesting that we would see a rally here back towards this 50-day moving average type resistance that we're seeing in the markets right now. And that was really because what we've been watching for is this basing that we saw along those October lows and back here towards the October highs. So again, watching this kind of basing pattern here, markets were really strong struggling to hold that level. On Friday, finally saw the market lift after we saw really good earnings last week from both Microsoft and Apple. Of course, those are the two big horsemen of the S&P in terms of market cap weighting. The rally in those stocks, Apple up almost 7% on Friday alone, lifting the entire index back into this trading range, heading back towards the 50-day moving average. Now, the question is, is what happens next? The good news is, is that we did trigger a buy signal on our money flow index on Friday. So that does suggest that we could see a bit more of a rally in the market as this index begins to recover here. However, it's not uncommon to see this indicator actually rally a bit, fail, and then form a bottom before you get the next rally. So you want to be a little bit cautious here. Our expectation is that we could see over the next few days a rally back towards this 50-day moving average that is declining at this point. See the market retest these October lows. Now, a failure at this point of these October lows does set the market up for a bigger decline, and that is certainly well within the realm of possibility if the Fed becomes much more aggressive in terms of rate hikes here over the next month or so. Fed member Bostic on Friday said he could actually see the Fed hiking rates 50 basis points in March. That would certainly put a lot more pressure on the market as that would be unexpected. Again, much more aggressive than the markets are currently pricing in. As we were saying, we do expect this rally back to the 50-day moving average. Now, this is a point to where we would start looking to reduce some exposure here, rebalance risk. Be careful chasing that hard asset trade here as well, because if we do see disinflationary pressures starting to show up over the next few months in economic data, that could weigh on the commodity hard asset trade. We have an article on that on our website today at realinvestmentadvice.com. Also, watch the dollar. A breakout on the dollar here would certainly also start to weigh against the hard asset trade, commodity trade. So it is a risk and that is worth paying attention to. But in the meantime, look for this rally here over the next few days. Today looking a little bit sloppy out of the gate. Let's see how today ends up here. But again, we want to see this rally that has started here continue, right? So we don't want to have lower lows today. We don't want to give up that gain from Friday this week. We need to start to see this market build a little bit of momentum here. Getting buy signals in place, certainly helpful. See a little bit of a momentum pick up to the upside. A shift back towards the mega cap tech growth stocks would certainly help that cause a bit more. Kind of watch this for a trade. Again, also use this rally as an opportunity to reduce some risk. Rebalance your portfolio and reduce risk just in case we do begin to see more pressure to the downside from a bit more aggressive Fed. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes on markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.